Um, this is Eric White with AA Today Poker News, and I'm here with Andrew Jones and, and Natasha Wicks. And they're with Bad Beat for Cancer, where players donate up to one. Or we'll edit that out. <laughs> Start talking about. Just give me a general sure. idea of what you guys do. Sure. So this this is the Bad Beat on Cancer. Uh, welcome to the Bad Beat on Cancer booth here at the 2011 World Series of Poker. Uh, the Bad Beat on Cancer was founded by Phil Gordon and Ray First in 2003 uh, as a fun way for poker players to give one percent of their, just one percent of their winnings to help support the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Um, and it all started when Chris Moneymaker gave one percent of his two and a half million dollar win for first place in the 2003 World Series main event. Wow which was $25,000, so it got the, the campaign off to a great start. Since then, we've raised over $3.5 million for the Prevent Cancer Foundation through this initiative, so it's gone really, really well. Nice. Any input over here? Um, well, <laughs> our players are wearing this patch, and they're agreeing to donate 1% of their winnings to the foundation, so uh, it's a nice, bright colored patch. And it's, good it's very easy because we're the official charity of the World Series of Poker for the first time ever this year. When you go to the payouts desk, all you have to do is say yes to the one percent pledge, and wow. automatically withhold. Okay. They'll automatically withhold your one uh, percent and give you an issue your tax receipt to your mailing address. Very cool. Uh, we're also doing something for the first time this year, which is a seminar series. Let me get a shot of this. Uh, started with Chad Brown, Andy Block, Doyle, Phil Galfon. Daniel Cates is coming up tomorrow. Yeah, that's what my friend Saturday is very excited evening. about that. He's coming up for that tomorrow. Right. It's, um, these have been exceptional. And these are some of the leading players in the game. And Doyle's interview is just off the top, off the charts hilarious. Really? Some of the stuff he was saying was really good. I mean, that's it was awesome. It's in his book, but some of it wasn't. Right. Some of it probably he wouldn't write down. So... Um, well, I do want to say that every tournament, I run a lot of home games as well as I pretty much everything I do is poker related. Um, all the tournaments I'm running are now affiliated with this where we don't play big buy-ins, obviously, but we're doing 1% with a minimum of $5 a night on at least three or four different tournament circuits that I'm running throughout the town. So, you know, at least we'll have, you know, some money coming in. I plan on bringing up a decent-sized donation before that, and, and I myself have been doing the 1% now as well. So... Really appreciate the interview. Anything else you guys have for good input? Like, everybody needs to be doing this. I know they can hear me even though I'm not on camera right now. Everybody needs to donate 1%. It's not that much. You'll never miss it. It's, it's great karma. It really is. It really Almost is. Almost everybody has had an experience with cancer. Yeah. And, like know, me, like I said, not at all until recently, but like it's like that was my only friend out here, and then he just ships off to UMass because right. he's over 80, sick real bad. You over know? 80 cents of every dollar that we raise goes to help educate people about cancer and, and we have some great community outreach programs like the MAMA van which is a mammography van, high tech okay. van, any woman found, found to have breast cancer through that van is guaranteed treatment. So okay. those are some of the, that's where some of the money goes. Oh definitely. It's a great charity, it's AAA rated charity. Okay. So yeah, it's a good cause. Well, I think I have like, this is good, this is like 3 minutes and 20 seconds so that should be like plenty if I make them too long.